Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. I'm sure everyone's heard, but uh, in case you've been living under a rock on Daymar, when 3.22 drops, we're going to be able to purchase containers that we can fill with whatever we like, transport them in our ships, place them in inventory like any other physicalized item, and uh, even sell them. It's really quite amazing. In this video, we'll take a look at uh, a use case for the 2SCU container, namely looting while running a bunker mission. At the end of the video, I'll even show you how you can make your own 1 and 2 SCU containers, so you don't have to uh, buy them or if you're not near a location that has a cargo center. And if you're interested in playing Star Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn additional credits of in-game money when you do. If you're a subscriber, uh, leave a comment with your referral code. We'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in our next video. I also belong to an awesome org and discord server called Star Citizen Friends and Mentoring. If you're uh, looking for people to talk about Star Citizen with, spend time playing the game, and learning the ins and outs of Star Citizen, uh, then check us out. The link to the discord server is also in the description. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so here we are at the uh, cargo center at Seraphim, and this is where you can purchase uh, your containers. Go over here to the uh, kiosk, cargo shop. All right, now we look. For, we're going to go over here to utility, and there's four box sizes we can get: uh, one SCU, two SCU. 4 SE and an 8 SEU. I mean, that's just, those two are just crazy. I don't know what you would do with these two. I mean, I, I, you can't take them on bunker missions. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the 4 SU and the 1 SU. Um, and, I mean, they aren't cheap either. 2,000, you know, 2,000 credits for a 1 SU. Eh. 4,000 credits? Over 4,000 for a 2 SU. I mean, that's, you know... That's a lot, really. Uh, you know, and I mean, it's crazy. 8K for a 4SU and 16K? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Somebody's going to explain to me what you would use these guys for. I don't, I don't see the appeal, honestly. Um, at least not for what I do. So, um, but what I will do at the, end of the, at the end of this video, I'll show you how to make these two. You make them for free. You don't even need... Yeah, well, this one's basically free. This one, eh, you have to kind of, you have to be a rock miner. <laughs> Otherwise, you got to buy some rock mining gear to make this one work. But you only have to buy it once, and then you can make these as much as you want. But for this video, we're going to buy one. Because that is very easy. Not a whole lot to that. Uh, the process I'm going to show you takes about five minutes to make them, so... Now, after you buy it, it shows up in your personal inventory on the station, right there. Let's see if I can drop it behind me. I don't think I can. Nah, it'll, it'll only let you drop it in your ship. I noticed it was in my ship I could drop it, and also on, like, um, uh, a landing pad. Um, that kind of thing. So anyway, yeah, what you can do is when we get on the ship, you'll see I'll drag it out and we'll put it in a little land behind me. And we'll be able to access it like like a normal container. All right. So let's, uh, now what we'll do is we're going to head on over to the Avenger Titan. Uh, we'll play there for a minute and then we'll go over and run a bunker with it. So, pretty cool. All right, so here we are at the Avenger Titan. And like I said, I could... I can't put the box down out here, but I can put it like on here on the tarmac or inside the ship. Same so if I try it right here. So I just kind of drag it out and drop it on the ground. And there it is. It's pretty cool. So yeah, you can treat it like any other container. Hold down the F key, click on open storage, and it shows up as the external. Uh, external storage 
Um, was that 2000K? That's not bad. You know, it's 2SU. Um, I can move stuff into it, put my helmet in it. So, yeah, pretty neat. I think it'll be very useful for stuff for bunker missions. I don't know what else you'd do with this stuff, though. I don't know. All right, let's put it in the uh, put it in the Titan. Also, of course, make sure to bring a tractor beam with you, <laughs> or you can't like move it. There we go. Up you go. Awesome. Okay, I still have to change, and then we'll head on over to the bunker. So, I will see you all there. Alright, here we are on approach to the uh, bunker. I do like to line up as close as I can, as straight in as I can to the uh, entrance of the bunker uh, when I'm using my one of my SU, two SU boxes. Um, it's just easier to get in and out with. And towards the end, we're going to need the time because <laughs> we're going to be a little close, I'm sure. Okay, let's bring the uh, container with us. And I do kind of forget to close the ramp. <laughs> Probably not a good habit to get into, but, you know. Um, also, there's no shame in taking at least two or three tries to get it through the door here. Um, I don't think I ever get it through on the first try or two. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a little lining up and... There we go. All right. Come on, that's another story because... Uh, we're going to be, it'll be crunch time then. We'll be on the clock, so. And I don't try to do anything fancy with the container. I don't try to use it as cover or anything like that. I'm just happy that it doesn't just glitch right through the floor. So I'm just going to stick it right over here for now. How did I miss? <laughs> Jeez. Or maybe we just don't do as much damage anymore. I don't know. There we go. Okay, with the last one dead, I'm going to run upstairs real quick and... Because I know the other guy is down downstairs. As long as he stays there, I'm fine. I want to go on and move my uh, container. Get a little more centrally located, because once he's dead, then 15 minutes start. Yeah, he's not moving. So let's go ahead and move the container. I'm not a fan of dragging it around the uh, bunker so much. I'm I'm always worried that it's going to glitch and fall through the floor or something, or I'll mess up and drop it someplace that it can't go, and like there, almost. Yeah, see? I think I'm just going to put it right there. There we go. Now let's get our FS9 out. Put some more ammo in. And we'll just go over here and try and finish this guy off real quick. There he is. Okay. So, any second, we're going to see the timer start. Uh, what I'm going to do now, yep, 14, 1447. I'm going to actually get undressed here. I'm going to take off all my gear and just store it over here for right now. Um, basically, I've had instances where I have put all, all my gear into the box, in the container, and lose access to the container. And that was a little scary, because that's also where my, uh, whoa, there goes my, uh, there goes my backpack doing a little dance. 
Um, yeah, I, I couldn't get my gear out, I, which means, of course, I lost my access to my uh, 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 tractor beam. And uh, so it's like, so now I do is I just dump everything over here where I know it's going to be for me later. And I can start doing my, uh, doing looting. So what we do is we go up to a guy with armor that we like, go loot, and then double click on his undersuit. And that gives me all of his gear. Now something else that's new now is you don't have to pick up the guns like I'm doing here. That's, that's old school now. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but in the inventory, in that guy's inventory was his guns, even though he was not technically holding them or had them on his, uh, on his armor. Uh, if you double click on the gun, it'll go onto your back and you can also tra move the other gun into your hand as well, which I didn't realize when I was shooting this that I could do that until well, I knew it. I just totally forgot because I'm so used to manually picking the guns up. About halfway through the video, I realized that and I started doing it. But uh, it takes me a little while. So anyway, that's what I do. I just run around naked, run to the next guy, do a loot, double click his uh, undersuit, and I'm wearing it. And he's got an FS9. I'm going to grab that. And then we just run back to the cargo, our cargo container. And just start transferring everything over. Yeah, I have a real problem trying to find that um, F1 or the uh, X to close the uh, inventory. I wish they would move that um, barcode out of the way. It's kind of annoying. So moving on to the next guy. Double click the undersuit. Did not double click on his uh, FS9 because, and look how hard it is to get it because of where it is under his body. It'd be so much easier if I just double clicked on the darn gun. And see, here's a problem. This happens to me frequently. I've lost access to the uh, container. Now, it's been worse before. I, I'll get it back here in a second. But as you can imagine, that's kind of scary. It's like, wait, that's all my gear in there. Especially if you put your own gear in there. It's like, that's not good. All right. I think I have it now. Yep. There we go. And we're half full. And I think we'll go over here and get the security guard's armor. Yeah. They have good stuff. Now, this time, I will remember to double-click on the gun. <laughs> and there we go. And now if we'll look at it, and we'll see that... We'll see that's on my back there, which is awesome. So, yeah, that's... Uh, it kind of does speed things up a bit. Wow, almost 60% full. 10 minutes left. Mm. Oh, there he is. There's a guard. Double click on the gun. See how fast that is. Okay, we're at seventy percent. So with no more uh, guard armor, I'm just going to have to take this one and watch. So I'm going to drag it right in my hand. So now I have both guns plus all his armor. That was pretty quick. Pretty quick. That was an FS9. I'll come back for you later. Love me some FS9. Ah, I lost. Did I just lose that? 
darn it. So here's another heavy, right? He's a heavy. Yeah, we'll take your FS9. Thank you very much. Ah, I can't believe they reduced the ammo count on the FS9 to 75. That's very annoying. All right, I think it's time to think about leaving. <laughs> it's getting a little, little tight. We just lose access again. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. See, this is a problem. So, the thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to start taking off what I'm wearing right now and go get my gear on because we got to get going. It is time to go. So we'll run back over here and re-equip ourselves and get our uh, tractor beam out. Okay. Four minutes left. <laughs> it's starting to cut it a little close. A little close. But you know what? I really do want that. Let, let's try to put those uh, pan, the undersuit and the leg armor in. One last try. Maybe moving the container might have helped. Or not. Ah, oh, there we go. Open storage. And we should be able to just drag that right in. Awesome. And one more. Perfect. Now we can leave. I think that was like, what, 99% full? <laughs> uh, yeah, see, time time is of the essence, and now I'm getting stuck trying to get this thing out the door. I think I need to line up better with the door. I'm not really dead on with it. I need to move a little to the left, I think. There we go. Awesome. Oh, perfect. And while it's always bad to leave your ramp open, I'm glad I did this time because that just saved me a little bit of time. Let me just get it up there. All right, close the door. Uh, I think I need to move that container down a little bit. That's perfect. Now close the ramp. Plenty of time. Minute and a half almost. Alright, time to get out of Dodge. I've got 40, 44 seconds left. Wow. That is cutting it close. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Seraphim and we're going to sell our gear that uh, we just collected. So I will meet you back at uh, Seraphim. All right, so we're back in the Seraphim in the hangar. And I'm going to transfer some of this gear out of the uh, container because they're like the... Um, Med pens. I like med pens. <laughs> I like to have a handful with me. So I'm going to 
do a f uh, filter here in a second. Yeah. On the utility. I'm just going to move all those guys over because I like them. Yeah, there we go. Everything else I'll sell. I'll, eh, well, I don't know. Do I want the FS9s? Nah. Lots of undersuits, which, you know, never hurts to have some undersuits. But I think I'm going to just go ahead and try and sell everything. All right. Um, I will meet you over at the uh, FPS store. All right, so here we are at the uh, store where you can buy and sell um, armor and some guns. So we're in the shop terminal, and we are going to pick um, sell, and then for the source, we're going to pick the uh, Avenger Titan, and then you're going to see there's a subsource, which is awesome. Look at that. We can access the, the 2SU container, which is so cool. So, this is all the items that are currently in that 2SCU container. And I'm just going to click on Quick Sell here after I look at what we got. Hmm. I mean, it's a little late now to go. <laughs> Not too late, I guess. I guess I could run back and pull things out. But I'm going to sell all this stuff. So, we're going to just go click on Quick Sell. I actually have, I use something called um, voice attack that, that will click on quick sell for me um, pretty much indefinitely. So I'm not actually clicking on quick sell here, you know, a thousand or so times the, the computer is. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to going downstairs again, a cup of coffee or whatever. And uh, But also to make it a little easier on all of you, I'm going to just speed up the whole sell, sell process. And we'll get an idea how much we made um, total at the end here. So that's pretty good. We just made 30,000 extra credits from that one bunker. So that one bunker, we made a total of... Uh, what, uh, 45K for, uh, you know, a, a low-level bunker. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm going to change here um, out of this outfit, and then I'm going to show you how to actually make your own 1SCU and 2SCU uh, containers. So I will check in with you in a minute. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make a 1SCU or 2SCU container yourself. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is um, really just get rid of this container, the 2SCU container we have in here now with us. I want to try and drag it into the uh, local inventory if I can. Uh, let's see. It's been difficult. No, I don't think you can do it that way. Oh, wait, no. Do I have it? No. Oh, yep, yep. Yep, there we go. So I'll just drag it over to local. And poof, it's gone. Awesome. Now, what I want to do is I want to drag over these two backpacks into vehicles. But I was having a problem with my inventory there. Let's try to There we go. All right. So right now I have nothing in vehicles. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag over uh, two backpacks into the ship's inventory. Just make sure it's there. Yep. Awesome. So right now we only have ourselves plus the two backpacks in the ship. And what I like to do is... Um, Take off from a station. Really, it's best to do it, I think, from a station. And we'll turn on the quantum drive and look for orbital marker one. This is from Seraphim. You can do it from any orbital marker, but 
OM-1 is right there, so one who's going to fly to OM-1. And then fly right back to Seraphim Station. And what this does is this puts us close, but still outside the armistice zone. Which we're going to need to be to make this work. So I should still be easy enough to find um, in a minute here. So what we're going to do is I just shut down everything. I want I don't want the shields on. I, want, I just um, shut down all the power there. And then we're going to go to the ship's inventory. And we're going to drag our uh, undersuit and helmet into the ship's inventory. So now we have our undersuit, our helmet, and the two backpacks in our... Uh, inventory ships inventory and I'm basically naked and now I'm going to take a nice little walk outside all right so now we should wake up in a seraphim station perfect now let's put our uh, tidy weighties on Actually, at this point, I would put on whatever you are expecting to wear for the bunker mission or whatever it is you plan on doing, because this is the last. At this point, we don't need to come back here again if we don't want to. So, you know, normally I'd be putting all my armor, getting my guns on, all that fun stuff. So now we just need to go over and retrieve, well, or just get whatever, whatever ship that you want to use to go on whatever mission you're running. In Welcome this case, I'm just going to... to the vehicle and I'm system. just going to grab my Avenger Titan again. I'll just reclaim it. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Your insurance claim has been sent. Thank you. But the, uh, the ship that, you did, that I just took out, you want it to be a small... You want it to be a small, easy-to-kill ship. Nothing... Nothing big. That's why I usually take either a Pisces or my Avenger out. Because we're about to destroy it. So, why make it any harder than it has to be? Alright, so we're taking off in the Avenger Titan. And we're going to go basically the same, uh, look in the same direction as where we were coming from, which was OM1. Should be straight out that way somewhere. Thank you. So let's just start flying towards OM-1. And I'm sure we're going to come across the the Titan here in a second. Yep, there it is. Basically, we're just going to fly over to the Titan. And we're going to blow it up. And out of that wreckage will come our uh, one SCU box. Or one SCU container. Uh, to make a two SCU container, you'll need to use a... Uh, uh, this is where I think you remember me earlier saying you, you may need some um, rock uh, rock mining armor. <laughs> Specifically, you need the um, the large suits, the uh, Pembroke uh, heat suits. You'll need two of those plus their helmets, plus the two backpacks. So that gets a little pricey, but you get it all back when we're done here. So you can recycle it and make, them, make containers indefinitely if you wanted to. So here we are coming up on the Titan. And we'll just blow it up. And now we should see, yep, see where it says 190 meters away? That's the 1SCU box. Also, when you come back out here, make sure you bring a tractor beam with you, obviously, for the to tractor the box in with. And there it is. So now I'll just reposition the ship so I can open up the uh, ramp and tractor it in. All right. Let's, uh, let's go get our container.
Uh, where is it? Is that it? Nope. Oh, oh, nope. Don't want that. Uh... Oh, there it is. All right. There we go. I mean, it looks different. You know, it's an old, old style container, but it works. And it's free. It doesn't. It's funny though. It's, it's old school. Like it doesn't snap to the cargo grid. Ah, I wonder if I can sell through it. Ah, oh, I haven't tried that yet. You probably can't sell through this. I bet you you have to move it to the ship, and then sell what's in the ship. That's my. Let's see. There's all my gear back, <laughs> so I can just transfer that back to the ship. Or local, actually. and eh, just move it all local. But as far as containers go, this works the same. That's a 1 SCU. Like I said, 2 SCU. You just need to throw in, um, instead of your your normal uh, undersuit and helmet, you have to throw in two Pembroke suits with their helmets, plus the two backpacks. And that'll get you a 2 SCU container. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. And like I said, it doesn't look like, looks like because it's old school, it won't snap the grids. My guess is you can't sell like what we did earlier. We sold through the container. Um, but, yeah, that's that's okay. You can just transfer all the, all the stuff from the container to your ship and then sell through your ship instead. So I'm okay with that. But uh, like I said, if you don't want to pay for it or if you don't have access to a cargo center, uh, you may be somewhere that doesn't have a cargo center, um, then... You know, you could certainly do it this way. So, yeah. So, there you go. So, uh, that's it for uh, the new cargo containers that we'll be seeing in 3.22 and how to make your own. So, uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Scrap Shed out.